This is WWE Colt Sam back with another Blu-ray DVD update. It's been a little while since I've done my last video, but I have accumulated a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. First off, we're going to do the DVDs. First is a concert DVD, and it is Carrie Underwood, The Blown Away Tour, live. Just open it up, and it comes in a more like a CD case. And the insert is just just giving credits with uh, to the crew that well shot the concert, as well as the people that actually helped produce the show itself, and pictures from the concerts. And some of these are not necessarily from the actual DVD. And um, all the songs are songs from her previous albums, plus plus a few others. And it also includes some behind-the-scenes content and um, music videos to the Blown Away singles. Next is a TV show. I actually have several TV shows in this update. Well, the first TV show is the only DVD show I have. It is Criminal Minds Season 8. There's only two seasons I do not have, and it's the first two. Go ahead and pull it out of the box. As you see, there's only there's three cases here. Each of them have two DVDs each. It's a six-disc set. Well, obviously, two times three, six. And, of course... If you don't know what the show Criminal Minds is about, it's about a, the BAU at the FBI Behavioral Analysis Unit that investigate these cases to find serial killers and rapists, you name it. And it's the science behind catching these criminals. It stars um, Thomas Gibson who was formerly on Dharma and Greg, and uh, Joe Montana, among other people. Okay, I had to put down the camera so I can put them all back in the box. Now on to the Blu-rays. I am not a big horror film fan, but however, I just got picked up this one. It's written by Joss Whedon, starring Chris Hemsworth, Cabin in the Woods, it's about these teenagers that go for some fun up in the mountains, or I should say the woods. But however, when they get there, they find these monsters and all these other things like zombies and all that stuff, and find out they are all controlled by other humans, and these teenagers must fight to survive. Next is a Warner Brothers title. Actually, the next three, yeah, the next three titles are Warner Brothers titles. First is a Kurt Russell movie, Executive Decision, which also has Steven Seagal and Oliver Platt. Oh, and um, John Leguizamo and Halle Berry, where this team must board a plane to disarm a bomb that can well, do a lot of damage along the, e I think it's the eastern seaboard, I think is what it says on the back. Yeah, eastern seaboard. And it's like a yeah, hair-triggered nerve toxin bomb. That's what it says right there in the description. And of course, you know, they're gonna they're gonna stop it. Next, from the director of Romeo, Romeo and Juliet and Moulin Rouge, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, based on the book by the same name, The Great Gatsby. If you have to watch this, um, hear mixed reviews about it, but I'm going to give it a shot. There's the it's just a Blu-ray DVD. Yeah, they're not really going big on the big on the disc art, and there is quite a bit of special features here about the making of the movie. 
and I think they do talk about the book itself, mainly about the time period. I think it was like right be supposed to take place right before the Great Depression. Next is a movie that you can kind of say it was the 1976 version of The Island, starring Michael York and Farrah Fawcett. We have Logan's Run, where Michael York, he, he must, um, he lives in a society where they, everybody ages up to 30. And once they reach 30, they have to enter what's called the carousel, which you kind of see right there and basically get reborn, as they say. But, however, Logan here, who basically hunts down people that are that need to go into the carousel, his time comes up, but then he decides to run himself. Yep. Next is a WWE pay-per-view on Blu-ray, and it is Money in the Bank. And I I think I forgot to put the disc pack in here. Yeah, I forgot to put the disc. It's sitting in that pile over there. Sorry to show my messy room. But it features matches like Cena defending his title against Mark Henry. Two Money in the Bank ladder matches, which are very fun to watch, in my opinion, amongst other matches. And, of course, to explain the Money in the Bank ladder match, it's a, let's see, yeah, six men... Basically competing a ladder match and hanging above the ring is a briefcase. And in that briefcase is a contract for a specific title, whether it be the WWE title or the World Heavyweight title, and they can cash that in at any time over the next year. And if you watch any WWE programming, you know by now Randy Orton did cash in his Money in the Bank contract. Spoiler alert. Next is a movie that I still have, the original DVD 2, which was released by Sony. Well, this is the Blu-ray released by Disney, because Disney has bought these characters. It's the Muppet movie. The nearly 35th anniversary edition. Let's open it up here. It's just the Blu-ray. Pretty much has the same special features as the original DVD. The only difference is when you pause it, you, um, it'll like have a secondary screen it'll go to. Next we have two more TV shows, but these are on Blu-ray. First up we have the second season of Person of Interest with Jim Caviezel, and pull it out of the box, you see it's a different cover. Where it is is about uh, Jim Caviezel's character, he works for, his, his name, well I should say is, his, his name is John Reese, he is an ex-CIA operative, but anyway, after a mission goes horribly wrong, he disappears, but then he gets found by Mr. Finch here. And to get, and he created a, a machine that protects people. However, it was only built to prevent the next 9/11. The machine sees crime, but it can't. Well, it, well, it can, but it can't tell. You know which one's a terrorist attack and which one is not. So he had to create two lists: a relevant list and an irrelevant irrelevant list. He gets the irrelevant list, while the U.S. government gets the relevant list. And with the help of these two detectives, Carter and Fusco, they save the people on the irrelevant list. And this is a 10-disc set. On the insert here, it just it lists the synopsis for each and every show, both on Blu-ray and DVD. Yeah, there's six DVDs for Blu-rays. In fact, the first ones you see are the Blu-rays. There's, and there's, yeah, disc four. And then the DVDs. Yeah. 
Person of Interest. Produced, well, I should say this is produced by J.J. Abrams, created by Jonathan Nolan, brother of Christopher Nolan. FYI. Had to put down the camera again to put put the case back in its box. Well, next is, an, as I said, another TV show, but it's the first season of the show Revolution, produced also produced by J.J. Abrams and John Favreau, director of Iron Man 1 and 2. And the basic synopsis of this show is this takes place 15 years after the power mysteriously goes out. But then, however, you know, flash forward, fast forward 10, 15 years ago, there's these military groups that are trying to basically control everybody. And then they come looking for this this girl's father. Well, I was pointing at the box. They come for her, and which is his brother. And what happens is the brother gets killed, and then the girl, this and this woman has to find her uncle, and they go on a mission to try to get the power back on. And they bring along a few other people to help fight off these militia groups. And just like the person of interest set, with, except this is a nine-disc set. I'm trying to see how many Blu-rays here, because it says on these, on, on here, there are four Blu-rays, which means five DVDs. And probably not going to take the time to go through all of it, but yeah. Also, there's the first DVD, and there's the Blu-rays right there. Now I'm going to shut the camera off again, so I can put it in the box. Sorry, I got cut off there. There's only 30 second time limit. Time limit. Time limit. Oh, okay, this one's just going back in the box a lot better than the person of interest one. Next is a Lionsgate title. Not originally released by Lionsgate, but it was a Miramax title. It's a Tarantino movie. Reservoir Dogs. Should I really have to explain this one? Well, I probably will. Basically, these are hitmen hired to do a job, but then it just goes downhill. And to find out one of them is an informant. Next is a movie that pretty much every boy of the 90s has at least seen or owned. It's The Sandlot, the 20th Anniversary Edition. Yeah, it comes in this slip cover. Of course, it's about this group of kids who play baseball in this... There we go. Very well not put together baseball field that they put themselves... put together themselves, basically. And then one of the boys, who just moved into town, trying to make friends... He decides to play with them. They they eventually teach him. And basically they lose all their baseballs. But he but this kid play you know, they, they call him Smalls, he's right there. Has a baseball from his grabs a baseball from his stepdad while his stepdad's away on business. Well, to find out the ball was signed by Babe Ruth. The ball goes over the fence. The beast gets the ball. Basically, the movie becomes about them trying to get the ball back from from the beast. You open it up. Comes with a ten percent off uh, offer from PF Flyers, which is the shoe that is used in the movie and also comes with these collectible cards they're kind of like the old baseball cards and of course it's just a blu-ray dvd yeah this is one of those movies of the 90s of course you forgot to put the stuff back in it actually i'm probably just going to throw that away 
because I don't order it online unless it's through a gift card. I'm going to put this back somewhere. Actually, I'll probably not keep these in the case. I just put them away. The sand lot. Yeah, I had a hard time putting that one back in. Yeah, go figure. Next is a double feature from Mill Creek. Okay, yeah, Mill Creek, not really good. But it is vertical limit and stealth. Only five bucks at Walmart. These two movies come on one disc. And I guess I'll just start with well it's on the back. We'll see stealth. It's about these three pilots, played by Jessica Beal, Josh Lucas, and Jamie Foxx, where they have to team up with this basically unmanned computerized jet. And well things go wrong with the, that jet. And then Vertical Limit here has a uh, Chris O'Donnell and Bill Paxton about these mountain climbers who climb up a mountain and the adventure it, the adventure is led by Bill Paxton's character. The the climbers get trapped. One of the climbers is Chris O'Donnell's sister. And what happens is he enlists the help of uh, I think Scott Glenn. Yeah, Scott Glenn. His character has a grudge with Bill Paxton's character because he knows Bill Paxton's character did something to his wife. Yeah. Ah, uh, spoiler. He killed her. And Chris O'Donnell and Scott Glenn's characters must rescue must rescue his sister. Yeah. That's the basic story on that one. And as I said, I am not big on horror films, but I picked up another one. This one's a John Carpenter movie. No, it's not Halloween. But it's a movie starring one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Roddy Piper, and, and They Live, which was originally released by Universal. Now it's released through a company called Shout Factory. The movie is about Roddy Piper's character. He's a drifter, goes from town to town doing odd jobs, but then one day he comes upon these special glasses, these sunglasses. And when he puts them on, well, I'll flip it to the back, he sees some people are not what they really are. In fact, they are aliens that have slowly and quietly taken over the world. Now, there are real people that do live in the world, but you don't know if they're human or are they alien unless you wear these glasses. And basically, and also there's like these hidden messages and advertisements that say, Obey. And basically, Roddy Piper's character decides to hunt them down and kill them all. Now, open it up here. You see the disc, and it has different art than the front. Well, actually, if you look here, it's not interior artwork. If you don't like the, if you don't like the um, logo, the, this cover right here, I believe this might be either a v, the original VHS cover or maybe a DVD cover. This comes out and just flip it around. That's all you have to do. Because, well, as you can see, it still has all the spe listing of special features and ratings and and all that. And then finally, another five dollar title movie I still have on DVD but it's just a funny movie I decided to get it on Blu-ray as well it's Wayne's World with Mike Myers and uh, Dana Carvey as well as Rob Lowe based on the famous SNL skits 
And of course, what it's about is about this guy named Wayne and his friend Garth, who host a local access cable show from their parents' basement. However, this TV executive, played by Rob Lowe, sees their show and decides to move them up to the big network. And he tries to screw them over and also take away, uh, you can't really see it behind this sticker, at Warner Brothers stuck on it, you know, this is a Paramount title, but you see Wayne's future girlfriend. He ends up falling in love with her. Well, anyway, that does it for me for now. I do have some stuff coming in the mail, but I'll probably just wait till I get more DVDs or Blu-rays. And I'll just show them then. But until they come in, see you later.